Yes, good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to today's uh, training. So our focus today will be on DAHUA certification. So as we continue, maybe about two minutes before we begin officially as others join us. So we've been having uh, trainings before. Uh, from this point will be a bit different. So if there's an issue, you can uh, raise your hand or uh, reach me out in the comment section. Yes. Yes, uh, so we had a bit of an issue, of, uh, an issue with the network. We can proceed now. Hello. <clears throat> okay. So sorry for that. So I'm already, as I was saying, if you have an, uh, an issue or a question, you can raise your hand or you can reach uh, in the comment section. So our focus uh, in this week's training is about um, that was certification. We'll be doing a DHA BSS. So kindly, kindly close your video for those who are joining us. Okay, my name is Shelton Kipwech. I'm uh, from the tech support department at Dahua Technology Kenya. We are located at 65 Modizi Road, Westlands. So my contacts are uh, listed on your screen. If you have a bit of an issue or a requirement or inquiry regarding Dahua products, you can uh, reach me out to me and we'll uh, see how we can help you. So this week's uh, training is uh, focused on uh, and the whole certification where we'll begin from a, a basic point where you'll get to know the requirements for you to be able to be certified, to be a certified uh, Dahua engineer. So like, uh, like any other uh, big organization or uh, or a tech company, Dahua Technology does certification for their products. So for their technicians, sorry. So maybe uh, for those requirements that will have applied uh, jobs to government or in a place where the requirements is uh, you to be a, a, from a certified body, we do certification from Dahua products. 
So we have certification from various levels. We have uh, for video surveillance systems, uh, certifications for intelligent buildings, parking systems, and even to specialize like uh, the FMB certification. So the requirements and uh, maybe detailed into this information, you can find it in our website at DAWA Security. You can search a notification and you'll get to know. So our focus uh, on these trainings and maybe subsequent training to follow about two or three will be the HSA, HS, which is a basic certification for DAHUA system. It's maybe like an entry level certification. So as at, uh, after my training and uh, a bit of a practical and an examination, you will get to have a certificate like this. So this is an example of certificate that you'll get, a, you'll be awarded with. So the certification as much as uh, uh, I've mentioned it, it's not just as easy as it goes because there are, a bit, there are a bit of requirements that you'll have to do for you to get uh, certified. You'll need to do a theory exam and a lab examination for the same. So for those of us who are located in Kenya, you can uh, maybe after the training, we can organize an exam for the same. And afterwards you can have certification based after you've passed. So the pass mark for the GHSA is uh, 60 out of 100, 60%. And the exam is uh, simple, you know, it's not that complex. So in this training, we're going, we are going to cover about uh, basic CCTV knowledge, basic networking knowledge, and uh, do a bit of DAHUA IP, HDSFI system. Then uh, on the practical side, we can do configuration and, uh, and uh, installation. So, So for those of us who are located in Kenya, we'll be doing trainings on uh, on Saturdays from 11, 11 a.m. So kindly, if you cannot hear me or uh, getting some issues, you can reach me, reach out in the comment section or raise your hand. Okay, let's proceed. So for those of us who are in Kenya, we can, uh, we'll organize for trainings. We'll be doing the trainings on Saturdays. Uh, there's a question about uh, permission to record. Uh, the, the, after, after the meeting, the, the training will be recorded and will be available online. I'll post the video on YouTube. Okay. Kindly close your video, see if you're... I hope you can hear me for this. Kindly give me five minutes, I check on something, then proceed.
Okay, now we continue. Okay, so our, our training will cover basic CCTV knowledge, um, IP, product installation and configuration. So from tomorrow, we'll be doing practical training at our offices uh, in Mitsumi. So if we uh, I'll recommend you to attend the training because uh, for the final certification, you will need to do to pass the, both the practical and the theory-based uh, exam. So for you to be certified. So maybe you can begin now. Okay, so I'm going to begin with a brief introduction of CCTV system. So by the end of this, uh, this uh, you'll be able to know about basic elements of CCTV, the stand surveillance system and uh, the video structure in environment, that's the environment. I'm going to do a bit of a rush on the same. So for a defense uh, security mode, you have uh, three elements. So we can have um, uh, humans as defense. So we have humans, physical defense and technical defense. So uh, the whole system is uh, located on, uh, on technical defense part of uh, security mode of defense. So three elements of uh, security, we have detection, relay and uh, response. So detection is uh, about basically to perceive currents of risk or event. So delay, uh, delaying the occurrence of an event, response is uh, maybe taking action for once the, an event has occurred. So, um, for video surveillance system in the technical part of uh, defense uh, mode for security, uh, the advantage of it is uh, efficient uh, reaction uh, time is fast, and uh, in terms of labor cost, it will reduce it to the minimum. So the uh, basic components of a CCTV system include a camera, transmission, and recorder and display. So the camera will be at the front end where you get the data from. Transmission basically refers to a means of communication between the camera and the recording, where information is transmitted from the camera to the recorder for storage processing or, or maybe any other AI recognition information. So on the display part of a CCTV system, you can have a TV, a TV video wall. A video wall is basically large, large display system where you can have a TV of up to even 10 or nine screens. So uh, for the CCTV system, we have a HD analog system. Uh, the HD analog system 
uh, is mostly used for the medium or small size system. It uses coaxial cable, the same cable that you do use on a TV connection, the same cable that you'll find in a analog system. So you have a camera in the front side of uh, your monitoring station, coaxial cable for the transmission and a HDC V recorder for storing information. So the DAHUAS HDC V technology supports up to even 4K transmission to a 700 meter distance. So it's a very good technology. Uh, unlike the um, HD analog system, the IP system where most of the CCTV are based now at the moment. Uh, we have uh, uses uh, Anchilla twister pair cable for transmitting signal from the camera to the recorder. So the advantage of an IP system uh, to to analog system is maybe uh, you can you can you can you can have information streamed directly from the camera to your device, like uh, maybe mobile phone on a remote side. While the analog, you have to convert the information from an analog signal to a digital for you to be able to, to, to interpret the information. So we, uh, we have uh, the cameras, so we have uh, different cameras and the applications. So basically a camera like this is called a, a bullet camera. And uh, like this one is called a dome. So the applications for different cameras apply at different scenes. We have cameras for corridors, where a bullet will be most uh, ideal in a corridor situation. Uh, corners, you'll have camera like this, panoramic, where it can, it can view a 360 degrees installed at a high, specific height. Uh, we also have thermal cameras that can see temperature and even at night. So for the components of transmission, uh, the cable we can use we have options uh, three options we have a UTP we have a coaxial cable and even fiber so you can for to increase the speeds in the network you can incorporate use of fiber for communications between devices for so the type of connectors for a coaxial cable you use a BIC connector it looks like this for an uh, for a UTP transmission side you use an RJ45. So the RJ45 typically looks like this, optical. So the optical connections are different, but based on, for this certification of Dahua, just know the, the you, you just need to know you'll require an optical transmission. So you can bear with me about the internet, but I think it's stable now. So if you have, if you have any, any question or concern, you can reach me out in the chat section. So in the storage part of a CCTV system, we have a, a recorder, network storage or a cloud storage. So a recorder, you can have an NVR, DVR. Network storage is a, is a type of, so the, the use for these types of recorders ranges from small small size organization to medium and high end organization. So cloud storage is basically storage via the internet. A network storage is a typical application will be to have large data sets of video that need to be maintained. So in, in areas that require high security, you need to use network storage where footage for long periods of time needs to be stored. For, for the display uh, display system, you can have an LCD display, just a normal TV. But in a, in a surveillance system, you would uh, not use a, just a normal TV for, for, for display because uh, a normal TV compared to a surveillance uh, display would, is that a surveillance display will run for long periods of time without maybe doing bad or something. So um, between the between the uh, transmission and the display side, we have a control component. So basically, the control component is used to to manage the information between uh, the, the 
the front end device like the camera and the display side. So a video matrix is a decoder that can is used with video wall. So in a, in a situation where you'd have a big project, you'll use a video matrix. So, so from this topology here, the video matrix is the controller here. So in a situation where you have more than maybe 200 or 300 cameras, you use video matrix. A decoder is the same as a video matrix, but it's just a low, low, low version of it. So a decoder would be used to in a small sized organization to medium sized. The network keyboard is used to change or do configuration settings for the front end device, that's the camera. So you can do control for the PTZ, change the settings for the camera based on your based, based on your preferences. So it also has a screen where you can view the real time settings for the camera. Um, another component for the CCTV system is a platform. So for the platform, we have IMO. IMO is a, is a platform based on IMO devices. So IMO is our, it's another Dahua product, but it's more for home-based or, or maybe the, that's low end uh, users. So basically you need small cameras like the IMO brand. So you have the IMO platform to do the IMO cameras, DSS. DSS is a platform to do Dahua, Dahua products and even third party products. And we have industrial platform. So industrial platform is a high end version where you would uh, do large sets of the surveillance. So, hmm. Okay, so that's the, the basic information for CCTV. So um, uh, let me just uh, dive to the next slides. Uh, the first one is about the uh, XVR certain channel. Uh, I remember I was so basic knowledge of a camera is not coming on the twenty-three or sixteen this month. Okay. So if it, if it is so because uh, of uh, time limits and the issues. Um I'll just introduce the basic knowledge of, okay, no problem. Just, uh, of camera. Me the right there, okay? And the second thing is about the uh, POE, right? So the basic knowledge of a camera. <clears throat> so for this uh, section, sorry for that. So for this section, we'll, uh, I'll just introduce it. Then uh, maybe in the future, we'll proceed with this. So we'll be having a, uh, more trainings on the same. Then by the end of uh, maybe three or four trainings will be done with the theoretical part. Also, uh, we'll be doing a practical training on the same. So from tomorrow, we'll be doing a practical training from for what we are doing, the theoretical part of it. So a system topology uh, would uh, would comprise of the following. We have a, a, from the camera side. So, um, so this system topology from the upper side, you can see NVR and lower side DVR. So this one is a IP-based camera system, while the lower side is uh, the HD-based system. So for the IP-based systems, you have the camera at the front end. This one's a switch. 
an NVR uh, EVS for storage a switch and also from the control and the monitoring side you have this side at the end. So typically for uh, an analog system, this side for the video wall and, uh, and this kind of display would, uh, would be ignored. So uh, camera category. So the camera category can be based on uh, the sensor it has, the signal that the camera produces, uh, the resolution, and even other performances. So Dahua technology applies uh, different types of sensors. So we have the CCD, CMOS, and CMO, uh, CMOS sensor. So we'll see detailed information on this later, the slides. So in terms of uh, definition, Definition is about the just megapixels. We have even 36 to MP. So megapixels running. So the better the, the megapixels, the clearer the picture. So as I, I had said before, in a surveillance system, you would have a, a traditional analog cameras, network cameras, and uh, HD cameras. So the traditional ones, uh, the difference between the traditional and HD cameras is the more, more of the quality. So the HD uh, cameras use the HD CV technology, which was developed by Dahua and uh, supports even up to 4K resolution, while uh, the traditional ones have low resolution cameras. Um, for the camera's appearance, uh, we have box cameras, we have bullet, so bullet camera look like this. A dome camera, the way a dome will appear, is the, this is how dome camera looks like. You have eyeball dome camera. So you can see the difference between the dome and the eyeball. So you, for the eyeball camera, the, the body and the, the, this seems to be about two different bodies. Speed dome camera and PTZ camera. So, uh, maybe in certification, you need to identify between a difference between PTZ and a speed dome camera. So uh, because of uh, limiting, I think we'll resume with the training later. So for uh, inquiries about training, about certification, for you to be certified, you will need to uh, do maybe an attendance for, for this. So you for our online training, you'll be able to grasp the the theoretical part of uh, of the training, while well, for the pr practical part of it, you'll need to attend the uh, daily train, daily uh, Saturday's training from 11 a.m. So for those of us who are in Kenya, uh, you can join us tomorrow in Mitsumi Business Park, uh, a sixth floor. We'll do training tomorrow on the same on the practical side. So from next week, we'll also do a theory on the same. We'll proceed with the with the camera, with the camera theory part of it. So about presentation and, uh, and uh, the slides. So the video will be available in uh, online. I'll, uh, the video is recorded. I will share the link to you in the groups later after publishing the video. So we need to cut the video short. So thank you for those of us who joined. Uh, regarding regarding um, certification, maybe inquiries for those of us, of those of us who joined that, you can reach out to me through WhatsApp so that we can, uh, can give you more information on the same. So I think we'll end the discussion from this point, then we'll proceed later. Okay, thank you for those of us who came for the today's training.